For today's tutorial, we are going to be doing the on the heat, off the heat method for steak, which is something I haven't seen anywhere on social media myself. This technique is a fantastic way to get that edge to edge color without having to reverse sear or sous vide or something like that. This works best with a thick steak, like at least two inches. Let's get straight into it, pay close attention. Now let's go. The first thing we need to do is temper the steak. So tempering means just to pull that steak out of the fridge so it can come closer to room temp. As far as I'm concerned, this does two major things. The first and most important is it allows the steak to cook evenly so we can get that edge to edge color. And the second thing I don't see talked about a lot, if you put a cold steak into a really hot pan, that steak is gonna take energy away from the pan, meaning we're gonna get a loss of heat. Loss of heat means loss of color. Loss of color means loss of flavor. The second thing I'm gonna do is just lightly oil this meat. For me, this acts kind of like a binder and really helps your seasoning stick. So do that all over. That's just avocado oil, by the way, and one of my favorite oils. Now this is my famous rosemary salt. If you watch my channel, you should definitely learn how to make this. I'll put a link up in the corner. Season. Rosemary salt is quite salty, so a little goes a long way. Next up, we have a little bit of Sergeant Gilbert action. Sergeant Gilbert is a self-aware pepper grinder. He came into my life now a few months back, and he's been a blessing. He's not very talkative, but that's what I like about him. He just does his job, man. Now, finely ground pepper on the steak, and I'll tell you why this is so important. If you put coarse pepper on your steak, here's what you're doing. If your pan is here and your steak is here, you've just put all these little chunks of matter in between the pan and the steak, meaning your steak is literally gonna be lifted up off the pan. And so it's not gonna sear, it's not gonna get that color, that flavor, right? It's just gonna steam and turn gray. So that's why I use finely ground pepper. Also make sure to get that rosemary salt and pepper around the steak. So when you go to do the other side on the way there, roll that steak and dip up all the seasoning and now do the other side. Now this next part is super important because the biggest mistake I see home cooks making is they never let their pan get hot enough and therefore they lose that sear, the color, the flavor. You're starting to realize color is flavor now, right? And so you wanna find the thickest pan you can. This is an old all clad pan. You can't even find this anymore. If you're using a cast iron, whatever, that works great. Just try to avoid like thin, non-stick, you know, cheap pans. They're gonna catch on fire, seriously. If you're on a budget, just invest in a good cast iron pan. That's the cheapest pan you can buy that'll achieve the same kind of effect. I'll put a link to one I like down in the description. So this pan's been on high heat for five minutes. Now we add the oil. I'm just doing a little avocado oil. Amazing oil, super high smoke point. That's why I use it. But you could use any neutral oil, whatever you want, clarified butter, ghee. You see all that smoke? Now we're ready to cook. So we'll start by just searing this fat cap for about two minutes. I even like to put it in the corner, tilt the pan, and you'll cover more of the fat doing it this way. You can do that top edge a little bit, and finally just drop your steak. Cook for about two, three minutes and flip. We've got a beautiful sear going on. Sear another two, three minutes, and then rest five minutes. Now kill the heat and add onion or shallot to the pan, along with a couple tablespoons of butter, unsalted. After five minutes, heat back on to low. Now steak back in. And once that butter begins to foam, start basting. Every two minutes, turn that steak and continue to baste. When it hits about 90 internal, it gets another five minute rest. And now keeping that heat low, we're gonna add some crushed garlic. Steak back in after the five minutes and just keep basting and flipping every two minutes. Now we'll add some thyme. One of my favorite sounds. So I'll tell you why I love basting my meat. First of all, butter is life. And secondly, when you're browning that butter, you're pulling out all these delicious nutty flavors that then disperse all over this steak and get in all the nooks and crannies. Also fat carries flavor. So the shallot, the garlic, the thyme is now in the butter and also getting dispersed over the meat. And you know what? It's just awesome. I don't know what you want me to say. When it hits 125 internal, it's gonna get a final 10 minute rest. Also, I like to pour some basting juices over the top while it rests. Another thing I like to do is just give this a flip halfway through resting. A little more butter, why not? Woo! By the way, all that stuff left in the pan is so good. That's the cook's treat. I mean, this on this onion right here that's been slowly cooking in the, s in the, slowly, oh! Now, just to give you a sense of the level of care that goes into making a steak like this, this is very high level stuff. I probably basted this steak, I would guess, I don't know, 200, 250 times. But I promise, you put the work in, you follow these steps, you make this steak, you're seriously, and I'm not joking, you're never gonna wanna spend money at a steakhouse again because you will be able to do it better yourself at home for way cheaper. I am ready to slice it. This is my favorite cook snack to chew on. That's for me. Okay, let's just take off this rib cap. Also the best piece is that cap. 
Let's just get into this. Oh my God, it's like cutting butter. It's unbelievably tender. That's a juicy, beautiful, medium rare. Let's give that a shot. Oh my God, you can't believe how tender that is. If you got some value out of this content right here, please remember to like this video. And if you are someone who is very keen to learn more about cooking, definitely subscribe to this channel because I can help you with that. Until next time, you know I love you and I'm out.